Wow. Holy, holy crap, okay. Let's. But before I show you guys the rest of the suit, I'd like to tell you about someone who helped me pay to rent this suit out for the video. Atlas VPN. Developed by top cybersecurity specialists and IT engineers in 2019, Atlas VPN was created to make the internet accessible and secure for everyone. Currently, it has more than 6 million users worldwide. It can unlock shows that might be trapped in one specific region of the world. Remember when Spectacular Spider-Man was stuck in Canada? If you had Atlas VPN, all you would have to do is change your location to Canada and you'd be watching Peak Spider-Man in no time. Right now, Atlas VPN is running a huge discount if you use the link in my description. You can get a three-year subscription for just $1.83 a month plus three months for free with a 30-day money-back guarantee. I cannot express how useful it is to have a VPN, especially one as well made as Atlas VPN. It will protect your devices from unwanted cyber attacks, unwanted links, ads, trackers, and notifies you when someone is trying to get their hands on your data. Just make sure you click the link in my description for a three-year subscription for just $1.83 a month, plus three years for free and a 30-day money-back guarantee, and you'll never have to worry about your grandma accidentally installing spyware on the family computer ever again. Okay. Okay, hold on, I'm really excited. I need something to cut this open with. I have a very, very special package for you all here. And I'm gonna be very careful while opening it because there is something very valuable inside. It's the Spider-Man Lotus suit. Now, before I open this, I just wanna give a big thank you to Orb Monster, AKA Big Bang Boomerang, for willing to send me his suit so I can review it for a video. Of course, I'm renting it. I'm going to be giving it back to him after this video is done. I'm very nervous. I'm very nervous. <laughs> I'm so, f I'm worried about hurting the box. I know everyone's at home just being like, hi, open it already. But I'm like, dog. Oh my God, wait, hold on. Holy shit. Okay. I'm looking at the soul right now. So I can definitely open the box upside down. Ugh. Wow. Holy, holy crap. Okay. Let's, oh my, it's so weird having it like in front of me. Oh my God. Whoa, whoa, whoa. okay, hold on. There's like so much I'm looking at right now that I like can't, I'm trying to, I'm trying to piece together my thoughts because this is amazing. The boots have like an actual boot inside of them. It's not just like a cloth. This is like a real boot. This is amazing. I'm gonna, wait, do the lenses come off? They do, right? They do, right? I'm, I'm worried that I'm gonna break it. I'm like treating it like a work of art. So this is what the, the face, uh, I'm not, I, I'll have to show you guys some of the, uh, like I'll have to overlay clips of me. Does the face shell come off? I don't want to try to take it up. I should probably ask Big Bang Boomerang before I do anything. Okay, the lenses do come off. I was really worried about trying to take the lenses off. This is what we've got on the inside of the lens here. Very nice, snaps in. It's a very nice fit. We've got like a really glossy, I think it's like, you got one layer of mesh, because the inside of the lens feels different. I think it's one layer of, of mesh, like netting, like a screen, and then it's got like a glossy layer over it. Let me pop out the lens again so I can show you. Here you go, like that. And then on the back, I think they, they put a shiny layer over it. This is so cool. Like, I've never had my hands on this much screen printed fabric before. This is amazing. Now, Originally, the emblem was completely 2D on this costume. And then what I believe they did is they printed some parts and then glued them onto this spider logo to give it more depth. You can see it in a lot of the shots that like some of the raised parts are different from this, the, uh, the, uh, it's just, it's just more raised. I also love how like thick this webbing is. Like, I'm gonna overlay footage of me, uh, I'm gonna overlay footage of like a closer look at the suit while I'm discussing all these things. The mesh is, the mesh is super 3D and that's something, I, or not the mesh, the, what, what am I talking about? I'm so flabbergasted. The webbing is very 3D on this suit. Like, I think the Spider-Man Lotus suit is a perfect example of how you can adopt sort of the silliness of comic books and make them into like more serious costumes. 
like this costume s still looks super serious but you've got the back logo on there and everything like I think this suit is I'm not gonna lie I think this suit is is very close to perfect oh you've got a crotch zipper you've got a crotch zipper how far does it go that's as far as it goes is there another one dang that's a full wiener flap right there there's inappropriate things in there that can come out that's a full wiener flap that's amazing you could pee in this okay so let's finally get to the analysis the spider-man lotus suit is obviously incredibly derivative of classic spider-man art specifically drawn by john ramita senior the only places this suit departs from the source material is the back logo as they've gone for one that sports more of a modern take on Spider-Man's classic back logo. If they would've kept it in the style of JR Sr., you probably wouldn't have seen a back logo that looked more like this. Bigger in size, with legs that look more parallel to one another. I can't quite put my finger on it, but something about the formatting of this suit reminds me very much of the PS4 classic suit. I don't want to spend a minute trying to figure out how, so I just figured I'd mention it. The fabric on this suit is screen printed. The red is a crimson shiny spandex overlaid with small matte ovals printed onto the red section of the fabric. The blue is a matte navy blue spandex with printed shiny black brick texture over it. But in person, you'll notice the colors of this suit are actually incredibly dark. Probably as dark as the Tasm 2 suit. And you know how I feel about dark colors on superhero costumes. But unfortunately, I think the dark colors on this suit can be justified. The plot of Spider-Man Lotus sees the main character going through some of the two most heartbreaking events in his comic book counterpart's history. The darkness of this suit can be seen as a display for his terrible mental state. Here, darkening the colors doesn't feel like a half-ass attempt to make the suit more realistic. The dark colors serve as an attempt to align the costume with the feeling of the film. And if you watch the trailers, that theme seems to be sadness. But that's all we've seen. Trailers. Because this movie went to shit. Look, I'm not gonna comment on the controversy too much, but it's not a fun situation. Anyone whose name was even attached to Spider-Man Lotus ran the risk of being harassed by people who suspect they've been just as bad as the others. That wasn't the case. There are people like my friends Nero and Justice Sketches who worked really hard on making CGI assets for this movie and are featuring in a video about their time on Spider-Man Lotus, which is already out now with the link in the description. The actor for Mary Jane, who now refuses to use Lotus to promote herself as an actor due to the controversy. There were people at Spider-Verse Labs, Comic Suit Factory, LDS3D, who created this costume with the concept artist Da Trinity Art, who designed the suit. All of these people worked really hard on this film, not knowing their work would be obsolete after this controversy. And that is why I ask that you save your comments about the controversy on this video. This video was made to honor the hard work of the costume designers who did nothing wrong. I gotta come clean with y'all about something. I broke the fucking suit. Now, while I wasn't filming during this, but I was going to take the lens off the suit to show you how visible it is, because it's actually surprisingly visible. And in the process of trying to take the lens off the face shell, the fucking wing shattered. I fucking felt terrible because orb monster lives in a different different time zone for me i ran to message him and i was like hey the wing broke i'm freaking the fuck out i'm gonna pay to fix it i'm gonna pay to fix it 100 percent i felt terrible i was freaking out i was wigging out for hours and then orb monster was like oh it's fine i didn't like the lenses on the lotus suit anyway like i i'm i shit you not i was like shaking i was having a panic attack i was so worried that i fucking fucked it up and orb monster was gonna freak out but we're good we're good i guess uh the reason why the lenses broke so easily is because they're made out of resin now resin is i've been told is a very 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 delicate material and i did not know that because i have never worked with resin before so shattering the lens was not a a consequence i thought would be possible that is not good i lost the fragments i fucking lost the fra dude nobody is ever gonna rent shit out to me ever again Honestly, my first impressions of the suit, like after some, some clear reflection, 
Let me get it off the floor. Uh, it's very dark. It's a lot darker than I expected it to be. A lot of the pictures I thought were just like color grading or, or were color graded. Um, I thought it was just that film shit they do where they make it like obnoxiously dark for no reason. No, the suit is like this. The suit is supposed to be this dark. Now, do I, do I necessarily like the dark color? No, but do I think it fits the film? There's a lot of shit that goes on in the film that I think necessitates this kind of dark color. And honestly, I think the darker color is much more palatable on this costume, specifically because it's like so classic and so accurate that honestly, I don't mind it being like, I don't mind it being this dark. There are like other instances where on like the Tasm suit, I think there are some places where that suit is just like kind of inaccurate. So it's harder for me to sort of be down with the darker colors. Like, I would really just like the Tasm suit so much more if it were brighter colors because that would be accurate to the character of Spider-Man in that film. But in this film, Spider-Man seems to be a lot more of a darker, sort of pessimistic take on the character. Whoever he thinks I am, I'm not. You've seen the headlines. Figure it out. So I think him having such darker colors on his costume it's kind of appropriate they didn't go as dark as possible which i really appreciate uh there are some spots on this costume where the red is darker than other places like for example the chest i think the chest is as dark as it gets uh the boots and like the gloves are pretty much untouched i think the gloves are actually the brightest part of the costume which is really funny of course the logos are absolutely stunning i'm in love with both of these logos I, I wasn't sure about the back logo at first, but now that I'm actually getting to touch it and feel it, I think really see it. I, I'm starting to enjoy the back logo a lot more. I think the costume designers on this, on this film did a spectacular job in making a costume that's like accurate to the feel of the film, accurate to the character wearing it, and just specifically, just accurate to the source material. Like if this suit was in like any Spider-Man film, like real released by Marvel, you wouldn't even be able to argue that anything beats this. This is like better than the No Way Home classic suit, better than the Tasm suit, better than the Raimi suit. This is like, I mean, I don't know what to tell you. This is Spider-Man ripped straight out of the comics and they, they did it well. This is what MCU Spider-Man should have looked like. Honestly, I think the, I think Raimi, I think the Raimi movies could have gotten away with Toby wearing a costume that looked more like this. Just thinking back and imagining the campiness of those films, I think wearing like a suit that looks this classic. I think imagining a, a just looking back on the campiness of those films, imagining Toby wearing a suit like this, I think would have been a match made in heaven for me. I don't know, it's just something about this suit that captures like the the silliness of the original costume while also being like in its own way kind of gritty and serious looking. Like I could take this seriously. Like this looks great. Not that any Spider-Man costume has issues with me not being able to take it seriously. Like this is the realistic superhero costume to me. I think this is believable, simple, it's not overcomplicated. This is it. I mean, like this took the the peak, the very top of the mountain where Tasm 2 was at and it pushed it further. I don't honestly, I don't think it gets any better than this. And I think, you know, I think the reason why this fan production was able to design such a better costume than any of the suits in the movies I think it's because, you know, they're fans, you know what I mean? They actually love the source material and they aren't afraid of adapting it to be just the way it looked, you know what I mean? This is the comic accurate look. This is the Spider-Man. Now I'm gonna go find that, uh, that little baggie. Didn't you fucking know? The second I fucking turned the camera off, I found the baggie of the shattered pieces of the lens. I found it. Also, replacing these lenses 
it's looking like it's gonna be about like a hundred, a hundred and fifty dollars. I'm willing to pay it though because I fucking broke it. Um, it's uh not my suit, not my. It's it doesn't belong to me. You know what I mean? So I broke it. Big Bang Boomerang or Orb Monster on Instagram doesn't deserve to get sent back a broken costume, so I'm gonna fucking pay for it because. Uh, well, Orb Monster deserves a... He deserves better than this, you know what I mean? He rented his suit out to me, he trusted me, and I broke one of the lenses on his suit. He's a cool guy, he's not mad. He's very, very not upset with me. He's a chill-ass guy. And honestly, I kind of respect him for that, you know what I mean? Because if someone broke my Lotus suit, I might be a little upset. But uh, not Orb Monster. Orb Monster's a cool dude, you should go follow him. I'm gonna be very delicate with 